Hi guys, my name is Philip and I'm a front-end developer. In today's video, we'll be explaining what Windgust is and how to fish and analyze Windgust data with the Tomorrow.io API. So, winds have the potential to impact various sectors. For example, aviation and maritime operations require accurate knowledge of winds to ensure safety of vessels and aircraft. In simple terms, wind gusts are measured as the maximum bursts of wind speed that occur during short intervals. This, these typically last only a few seconds. Keep in mind that they are reported separately from average wind speeds, which describe sustained wind conditions over a longer time period. Now, with the basics out of the way, let's see how to actually fetch wind gust data with the Tomorrow AO API. So, our first step would be to head out under weather data layers and open core. We can find Windgust here. So as per the Tomorrow AO API, Windgust is defined as the maximum brief increase in the speed of the wind usually less than 20 seconds. It's usually defined in either meters per second or miles per hour. Now with that in mind, let's see how to actually fetch Windgust information. Our first step would be to open the Weather Timelines API. The Weather Timelines API allows us to access a specific data field inside of the data layers we have here, for example, WindGust. Then we need to choose the programming language we'll go for. In this case, we'll be using Python. And let's actually build the fetch request. So our first step is to define the location. Let's set it to Paris. Then we have the field we'll be fetching information for will be fetching wind gusts. Our next step is defining the unit system. So it's either metric or imperial. In this case, we'll go with metric. And our final step is to choose the start time and the end time. Our start time will be now and the end time will be now plus an hour later. Now, once we have this done, all we have to do is copy the code snippet and paste it in a code editor. So since we're using Python, I will be using PyCharm. And all we have to do before we run the code is to install the requests package. Since I already have it installed, I'll just briefly show you what you have to do. So you have to copy it and paste it here. In my case, it's already installed. Now, once we have this, all we have to do is simply run the app. We can do that by pressing the run button in the top right corner. And here we have our wind gust information. So as we can see, we have the data here with a time step of one hour, as we specified in the pitch request and the end time an hour later. So here's our start time. Here's our end time. So in the first hour, the wind gust is 11.8. And in the second hour, the wind gust is 11.8, signifying a very brief increase in wind gust. Keep in mind that you can do the same for most, if not all, of the weather data layers inside of Tomorrow.io's API, and it's as easy as this. And that will be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. You now know how to fetch wind gust data with Tomorrow.io and Python.